Hello everybody, it's me, Marky Mark, and uh, today's a beautiful day, and uh, so I got here and uh, throw a little bit of tomahawk at my new target that I built. <clears throat> That's a good throw. Oop, gotta hold it, hold the target, and pull the axe out. Ugh. Anyways, it's one of them old, uh, well, forget what they call them, you buy them at Walmart. Did say it? Oh, it's a ho- What that say again? Oh, I can't read it. Well, if you know it, you know it. Vaughn, Vogg, uh, framing axe. Ended up putting a stiletto axe handle on it, which is a better handle than it originally came with, and it's a lot longer. So you can uh, throw it a lot farther. So just want to break it out for the first time and uh, do some throwing for y'all. Ooh, good throw. Pretty well balanced. It's about a almost bullseye. Ugh. Need to get a better target. I mean, something a little higher, maybe. Of course, this one moves. There we go. I'm probably about 10 feet or 15 feet away. And grip it about right there. Oh, it bounced. I hit it right here and it fell out. Aim a little higher. Aim a little higher. Oh, almost hit the same spot. Obviously a lot higher. You got some wood stuck in the top. That's great. Top of the axe. This is a pretty tough handle. This is, like I said, it's a stiletto or whatever handle. I got them at Farm and Fleet. And uh, they work with these framing axes pretty good. It's pretty easy fitting it. Oh, that's a good throw. And uh, I wrapped it here. Well, I wrapped this here to absorb some of the shock. And also, if you're going to do any close work, like a uh, you know, you could do like, well, what am I trying to say? Um, if you're a bushcrafter, you could easily hold this here and then you could hit your, uh, your you know, uh, hit this end with something and you can pound it through uh, logs and chop wood at close quarter, or you could use it as a, just a handle. If you want to, if you're ever fighting with your tomahawk, you can um, easily, slash and chop and <laughs> but I don't know that's another a battle aspect of it so it's not just a shock absorber it's a that's a useful handle oh a little oh and a handle slapped to say the least oh I just flipped that oh no Oh, way too low. Not much effort in the throws with this axe because it has the hammer head. And um, more than likely you're gonna stick it. If you uh, want more spinning, usually than this um, would be for farther throws. I'm about right here because I'm so close. Pretty well balanced. Oh, too high. I already blew this piece out right there with my other tomahawk. Yeah, I thought y'all like to see this since I am been talking about throwing axes for a while and just haven't had a target to do so on. So there you go. <clears throat> Ooh, good throw. Good throw. Now you see what I do here. This uh, flip thing I do. Well, it's easier on a trail hawk. I used to be able to spin it more than once. This one is harder because it has this thing it catches on your hand. Oops. Let's see how you do more than once just for fun. Oh, no, it just goes right to. Ah, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Oh, bullseye. Well, a little bit right of the bullseye. Okay. Right into the thing. 
There we go. Do a couple more throws for y'all. Hope y'all enjoying this video. And uh, we'll do it from a little farther away. Oh, and I hit low. Oh, oh, that was a bad throw. The handle hit the ground and it bounced up. Hey, Marky. Woo. Try that again. <laughs> you want to go about there and then, oh, about there, and then you want to release. Oh, a little bit low. Yeah, it's a pretty tough handle. I've done handle slaps on it. I've hit the handle. I tried doing trick shooting, uh, trick throwing, and I've smacked it there and it's flipped off course a few times i even been is able to do an underhand throw which that takes a little bit of practice it's good at that but i've hit this handle plenty of times it hasn't broken yet so i'm really happy and the best part about it i got these vaughn axe heads or axes for uh on clearance one of them i got for nine dollars the other one i think i paid five so i have two of them so i have a set it's pretty pretty fun to throw just like throwing a baseball Ugh. not to mention they're good hammers too gosh that's that stuck in there good Ugh. i ain't messing my target i'm gonna throw my target out it's getting really off course here all right I got a swing set back here, so I can go about as close as I can to this swing set. Oh, and it went too low. Ugh. Try that again. Ah, it'll release a lot higher than that. Yeah, I'm back at the swing set. The swing set's probably about 15 feet or so. I ought to walk it off and see exactly. Oh! What in the world was that? I think it hit the head. I can grip it a little lower. Let's we'll see what happens then. This is a far to the distance than I was throwing. Oh, that scared me. That scared me. Okay, here we go. Oh, he hit his head, head first. Well, you would have knocked out whatever you're throwing at. I'll grip it from here again. It's about a hand's width from the bottom. I would do it, would show you. But basically, you put one hand under there. And that's where this hand's supposed to be at, and it's usually pretty balanced for a good, for about any kind of a, well, almost any distance. But for more spins, if you notice that uh, it's sticking and it's um, the tip is too high, making the handle go up like that when it goes in, I mean, you have too much spin, so you adjust that. And if you chuck, you would know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> oh, again, I hit the head, right? I grazed it there and hit that. All right, let's try this. I'll grip a little higher up the thing from the same distance. <clears throat> oh, man, it's a little challenging when you get farther out. I ought to move this swing set so I can go from all the way from where the swing set is. <clears throat> what was that? It would have went in and it bounced out. It hit right here and it bounced out. All right, there we go. Let's do this again. And that swing set again. <clears throat> you know, hit low. So I gripped it higher towards the head and it was able to stick that way. Well, it was like at that angle. It's perfect, a good stick. And I was about right there. It's a little more than the hands width from the bottom of the, it's a 20 inch or a 21 inch stiletto handle. It might've been 22, but I don't know. It's uh, for farther distances, it works pretty good. Ooh, good throw. I seen that shot and look. That's a good throw everybody. Is that is what you call a bullseye. That on target. All right. I wish I could have I wish I had a camera prop. 
I need to get me a tripod so I can do some of me throwing towards the target. I used to have one and I don't have that anymore, so Let's see if we can make it again. Early. <laughs> Woo! Another good one. See yeah, I hit the I got the sweet spot right there in the center. So it's farther up the handle for farther distances. Down the handle for closer distances. <laughs> Alright, generally for farther distances. <laughs> well, here's the swing set. See, I'm right on the swing set. There's the bars. I'm inside of the swing set. Let's try this. Ah, oh, it messed up my shot. All right. Oh, and it bounced out. Dead gum. Let's try it again. All right. Again, here I am in the swing set. I'll walk it off and let you know how far that was. <clears throat> oh, I hit that bad spot. Right there. All right. Yeah. Here we go. Whew. Right for the center. Oh, and I kind of missed it. Need to release it a little higher. Good throw. I wonder if I can shoot any going like this down here on the ground. I don't have anything to prop this thing up on. It'd be cool if I can do that. Let me see, maybe I can do one from the house. No, it ain't gonna work. Here, I got a rock. Hey, this rock will work. Where's a kid when you need one? <laughs> Where's the kid when you need one? Could have a kid hold the phone. Oops. Where's the target at? Hey, gummit. Oh, there's the target. <laughs> 